Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Metal Gear Rising Revengeance with me, Classic Gamer. We're moving on to the next chapter now. Um, where we have to make our way to uh, is it Africa, I think it is, to uh, uh, warn the president. Um, or something like that. Um, so again, um, with regards to what happened before, I'm going to do this video, hopefully in one overall video. Uh, I might have to stop the video uh, and then continue it later. If I do, then I'll just pause the game. It's no biggie. Uh, we're gonna start a new chapter. Um, I think this game's almost at the end now. All right, so we're on that. We're on this one now. File R zero seven. So let's do this. Haven't customized Ryden's body just yet. But those of you who play Metal Gear Four might see a familiar face in a minute. Recognize her? that look. Olga's daughter, the one that was rescued by Raiden after Sons of the uh, uh, Metal Gear 2. Even though you never see that in game form, you just hear about it. Oh my god, you sad, sad man. <laughs>
Alliance with security contracted out to World Marshal. All right. I'm headed in. All right, first things first, guys. We're going to uh, call Sully, because now we have uh, her as a contact. How was the ride? Hey, Sonny. Fine, thanks. Though I wouldn't call it the smoothest ride ever. You sure that thing's really airworthy? Well, well, what do you expect? You're traveling at a few dozen times the speed of sound. I mean, she operates well within all the projected margins of safety, so yes. We'll have to work on the turbulence levels a bit before we can take tourists on it. But come on, you really can't complain. So it's meant mainly for cargo at the moment? Mm-hmm. We got a contract with COTS, NASA's Commercial Orbital Transportation Services. Mostly handling space deliveries, that kind of thing. We also joined the C-3PO, the Commercial Crew and Cargo Program Offices... <laughs> So soon we'll have private spacecraft bringing crew to the International Space Station. Wild times we're living in. Well, the space race has been over for decades now. It's no longer something countries engage in for vanity's sake. Still, lots of people are starting to see the industrial value of zero-gravity experiments. Plus, the costs are getting lower and lower with each passing year, to the point where we'll have a serious space tourism industry before long. Yeah, I heard about the space hotel the Russians opened up. But we're still not going any further than orbit, right? Well, one company's planning to have a lunar landing craft complete by 2020. Not ours, though. I'm just hoping we can get to Jupiter while Hal's still alive. Jupiter, huh? Wow, that's pretty far. Oh, hey! How did Earth look from up there? I can't even put it into words. I know I was still under the Carmen line, but it looked exactly like every satellite photo of Earth I've ever seen. No borders, no nothing. Just a whole lot of blue. Hopefully next time around, I can take my time and enjoy it. Yeah. But first things first, you know? Yep. Well, good luck, Jack. Right in. Thanks. Thanks, Sonny. show up as unaffiliated. Wait, Marshall has the security contract for the space. Why would they have their cyborg set to the same illegal EXIF code as Desperado? It's evidence against them. No, it's their alibi. They're making it look like Desperado hacked their soldiers on site because everyone knows Desperado has a contract with... The Pakistani rebels. Oh, but if we go public with the Desperado-Marshall connection... Won't matter. Not when they've got this nice big foreign threat all cooked up and ready to serve. The media and the public won't be able to resist. Remember WMDs in Iraq? Damn it, you're right. It's another slam dunk. What about any humans on the base? Marshall only handled security. Dead, most likely. Or brain jacked, if they needed them to keep up appearances. Huh. They'd never publicize what airport the president was flying into. Not in this region. And almost no one would have access to an outside line for security reasons. It wouldn't be difficult to keep things hush-hush. At least until Air Force One arrives. I'm heading for the control tower. If I can destroy the antenna array, the U.S. military will know something's wrong. Good idea. Be careful. Sam's gone. And I blew the winds of destruction away. I'll be fine. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, down here is something we need. The box. Ryzen, there is no time to worry about the soldiers. Get to the control tower. Mm -hmm. I got him. Get in there. Come on. Oh, I can't. No, 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 no. Uh oh. Maybe, but do you have another leg? <laughs> you can't walk with one leg, mate. Anyway, let's carry on.
How about now? I think when you have no legs to walk on, mate, you can't fight. Soldiers is tragic, but nothing to start a major war over. That's just a spark, son. The excuse we've been waiting for. America's wanted this war for years. The Patriots, they knew war was good for the economy. Four years later, their legacy lingers on. The memes. They left us their great isms. Nationalism. Unilateralism. Materialism. Welcome maxims for those with no faith. Without guiding principles of their own. Give yourself up to the whole. No need to better yourself. You're American. You're number one. Then the only value left is dollar value. The economy. So we'll do whatever it takes to keep it humming along. Even war. Especially war. Bullshit. The Patriots planted the seed. We don't need them around to filter and foster their memes 
any longer. We're spreading them just fine ourselves. Every American man, woman, and child. We're all sons of a patriots now! We just need something to jumpstart the economy out of this funk. This recession has been stuck in since the fall of SOP. <laughs> and the military costs? Wasting billions is going to help the economy? PMCs, arms manufacturers, job creators, Jack. All those workers spending money, paying taxes. Trust me, a little war can work wonders. So grease the gears with some innocent blood, is that it? Oh, relax, Jack. It's a war on terror. We're not out to kill civilians. Extremists, lawless gangs, madmen. Of course, that would have to include you. Wouldn't want any eyewitness reports complicating the message. <laughs> Crazy Metal Gear. Kind of a far cry from your Mark II and Three, huh, Sonny? In the end, nothing ever changes. Science always ends up being used for war. No, it's like any weapon. It's only a tool. It's all up to who wields it. Not everyone has their own selfish agenda. Some people like you are making a difference for the better. If only I could believe that. Cheer up, Sonny. You have the power to bring hope to a lot of people. Yeah, you're right. Why don't you see how long you can keep it up, hey? Thank <laughs> you. 
Suplex, bitch! Oh my god! I fucking failed that bit, so then I failed the whole thing. Pleasure.
truth then. You're right about one thing. I do need capital and boats. Want to know why? I have a dream. What? That one day, every person in this nation will control their own destiny. A land of the truly free, damn it. A nation of action, not words, ruled by strength, not committee. Where the law changes to suit the individual, not the other way around. Where power and justice are back where they belong. In the hands of the people! here, Jack. Can't fret over every egg. Not when you're purging the weak, right? What do you know about the weak? You weren't born poor. You've never been hungry. You don't know what it's like to fight and steal and kill just to survive. But you did survive! Through sheer force
force of will, following your own set of rules. With your own two hands, you took back your life. And now, I'll take yours. Oh my god, really? Fucking hell, man. Oh, fucking hell, man. How are you meant to fucking defeat him? I'm dead. How come I'm one no point one percent health, but yet yeah, I'm not dying? This is just like with the fight with Sam. This is another w no win fight. You can't well, you can't beat him. It's a no win fight. Yeah, no win fight. Why won't you die? <laughs> Nano machine, son. They hide in response to physical trauma.
is a pain in my ass. So... You think that little sword can save your master? <laughs> well, go ahead then. But make no mistake, Fido. When I'm finished with him, you're next. I was not designed to fear termination. Huh? However, Directive 01 is to ensure all data acquired is preserved and passed along. To expire here would violate that directive. That's a good boy. <laughs> However, Raiden came to my aid. I have learned from him. When Samuel fell, data analysis was inconclusive. But that has changed. I have established new parameters now. Created my own directives. You little fuck. <laughs> What? I missed. What the hell? I pressed the button. It didn't work. What the fuck? I pressed the button! <laughs> Fucking do it! What's 
I pressed the fucking button and it's not working. Why is it not working when I press the button that it says to press? Fuck, get up, get up. I pressed X and it didn't work. Why isn't it working? Makes no sense to me. I don't understand. I'm pressing the button and it won't work. It simply won't work. Well, I'm going to continue this later, guys. So I'll see you soon. It's because I didn't realise that after this fight is actually the end of the game. Um, I know that might spoil it slightly, but I didn't know that, so I stopped it on the try on the results screen thinking it was a new chapter coming up, and I was very, very wrong. So, I apologise, but, you know, this is the final fight. I actually forgot about that. I suppose, in a way, it would be obvious because it's quite a long fight if you know what I mean I'm now on basically first of all it's Metal Gear then it was him earlier when he we couldn't even make damage and then it was him with fists and now it's him again so four times you fight this guy but three times in his human sort of well in one to one on one uh, we obviously you've seen the track the cutscene beforehand so we're gonna go along gonna beat him again and let's do this I've got no fucking health things. Uh, right, I'll be back in two secs. All right, guys. Um, I've. I didn't realise I hadn't put it back on recording, but I'm not going to beat this guy. Not with, the, with no life things. I'm fucked. Maybe it will take me to die to actually maybe get a refill. I don't know. I don't know why it's not giving me health. It gave me 10 before. I'm fucked. I don't have any health. I can't do it. I can't beat him. I have no health items. How am I going to beat this guy? Fifty eight health. How am I going to beat this guy? Oh, I've done it wrong again. I've got no health. How am I, do how am I going to win? It's not giving me any health. I'm fucked. I'm not going to win. I can't fucking parry that stupid stuff he, he throws at me. And I can't win. I can't beat him. Fucks, I'm dead. I'm dead. I can't do this. I've got no health. I can't simply do it. 
How do I do this? I can't do it. How am I going to beat him if I've got no health? It doesn't make any sense to me. I can't do it. No, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't beat him. Alright, guys. I've now got back to Armstrong. I actually managed to counter it that time. Oh, not that time. I fucking pressed it and it didn't work. Oh crap. No, 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 no! Fucking get up! Oh come on, that's not fair! He's recovering! That is a complete bullshit. That I can, how can you how possibly can you do that? Up. Oh my god, that I, I hate it when he does this. I hate it because I fucking keep getting hit no matter what I do. I pressed the button and it didn't work.
Oh god, he's doing this again. He's nearly dead though. I love the music. Have that, bitch! You little shit. Well done, Jack. Your dream dies with you. Oh, maybe not. You've guaranteed the status quo will go on. For a while longer, at least. War will continue as an institution, as an industry. Men will fight for reasons they don't understand, causes they don't believe in. But at least I'll leave a worthy successor. Whatever methods you see fit. <coughs> you don't let legal bullshit get in the way. And if it costs a few lives, so be it. Alright guys, that's it. That is the end. That is the final combat result we're going to get. So, uh, before, I actually ended it here. Um, so, yeah. Let's just, um, I'll let you enjoy the last cut scene. I didn't actually watch it. And um, we'll, watch, we'll watch the credits and we'll go from there.
be president. But I mean Ryden. first cyborg staffing firm is officially open for business. We are certified for construction and long-term nursing care, but this is just the beginning. The potential for new roles cyborgs can play is limitless. And we're sure this isn't child labor? The older uh, children can work now, the rest when they come of age. And it's strictly voluntary, you know. We're not running a charity here, huh? <laughs> Nations alone would not even cover their maintenance. Besides, this way they'll learn a trade. Perhaps some discipline, huh? It's not a perfect solution. But you know what? At least these kids will get a decent education. Well, I'm not about to return them to the streets or to broken homes. At least we can give them a chance, <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh, uh... <laughs> oops. <sighs> Perfect solution for an imperfect world. Well, another benefit. A peaceful application for all my research. <laughs> <laughs> Since when do you care? Well, recent events have been food for thought, shall we say? No kid. Speaking of recent events, how's our new recruit working out? Ah, yes, quite well. Quite well. Where you have this then? Hang on. Just give me one second. Yeah, okay. You make me head spin, you know? Mm. The same age as me, but all this spaceship? You're genius, girl. Mm -hmm. And you're hot for days. Huh? Where did that come from? <laughs> It's <laughs> about a crazy world, no? <laughs> For me, see that ninja. Me never think I've been this kind of life. Yeah. Huh? He rescued me too, you know. Saved my life. I owe him everything. To some people, he'll always be Jack the Ripper. I know all about his past. He had it rough. And he hurt a lot of people. <sighs> but that's not the Raiden I know. The Raiden I know... is a hero. There we have it guys. That's the end of the game. This is probably a great game, a great sort of standalone game, a great game sort of on the side of the Metal Gear story. Um, interesting enough that it's going to be in the same kind of like line, not maybe sort of the same sort of streamline, but you could say it's a, it's a, a spin-off and I'm so annoyed that the the game is gonna is gonna be um, alongside in the spin-off kind of like uh, category with Metal Gear Survive oh my god Jesus I hate that game with an absolute fucking passion and it's not even out yet. Quite a long, uh, a lot of credits here. Probably will cut up, cut them out. But for now, just enjoy them. I'll be back in a minute.
Alright guys, uh, just been um, playing a bit of Simpsons Tapped Out while the credits have been going, so just thought I'd leave it going actually, uh, so I probably will leave it going. Well, actually no, I, thought, I, I would have cut out the credits. <laughs> Research and staffing service certainly help. I hear World Marshal's looking for a buyer. <laughs> well, you cost them a lot of money, no? Not to mention killing their funding, literally. <laughs> now, the bread taking program is finished, but the larger company is not, I'm afraid. Now, someone will buy them. PMCs are in demand once again. Yeah, fighting for reasons they don't understand. They don't believe in. Big pardon? No. Nothing. Oh. So, your mind is made? You will not come back. Sorry, Boris. I understand. But then, what will you do? There you have it, guys. Right, this is, here we are, the end. Um, I would have cut, I would have cut out the credits, guys. I've just decided that now. Uh, this is before I edit it, obviously. But I would, I would have cut out the credits. So I probably, uh, I will, I would have left the song on for a little while, and then I would have cut the rest because the credits are quite long. So Jack the Ripper uh, title. I've got cut your enemies at least a thousand times using blade mode. And if we three hours, not bad, not bad, not bad at all, not bad at all, not bad at all. Yeah, yeah, I accept that. Yeah, good result. Uh, haven't done it on normal or hard, obviously. Overall, is C. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, overall C grade, which is, is okay. Got an S grade actually on the first level. I mean, well, did so well at it. Uh, now there is a couple of side stories to this game, a uh, bit of DLC that obviously came out when the game was released. Um, both of these are, I have not played them, I can't remember playing them, but both of these are, if you go into the uh, new game, uh, Jetstream Sam, or Jet, or Jetstream, or Blade Wolf. I'm not going to do that yet, uh, if people want to see it I will do it, but if not then I won't. But as always guys, um, I'm going to call this a video now. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. As always, have a lovely, uh, enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you soon. Bye bye for now.